everyone welcome to my new vlog it's going to be just a day of my life vlog but i would also like to talk with you about how to delegate and how delegating saved my life and about the best thing that happened to me last month so yes yeah, stay with me and subscribe to my channel if you are new i'm going to the city now and i will show you my outfit I have this new Zandros sweater, my favorite trousers from Zara. Uh, <laughs> these are my home shoes, uh, but I will wear my uh, Gucci loafers and my new bag. I wear this bag every day because, you know, it's, it's the perfect size for me and the perfect color. But I already talked about in my unpacking video or in my spring favorites video. If you have not seen it, then I will link it somewhere here. So yeah, let's go to the city. The weather is gorgeous today. I hope that you hear me okay because it's a little bit windy here. I just had my breakfast and the thing which I wanted to talk to you about and the best thing that happened to me this month was that we got a baby. And if you watched my last video when I was talking about top three advices that I would give myself before having a baby, I talked a lot about asking for help. I actually regret that we didn't get a nanny one year ago or two years ago even. Because it is such a game changer for me. We hired her for two days in a week at first. And I spent some time on my own on the first day. But then I started to use this time to make more videos. And then before and um, at some point I understood that okay I'm working this two days now actually and I need one more day of rest for me so we hired her for the third day and my daughter enjoys playing with her and I enjoy spending this time on my own and today is my rest day so I'm now in the city I just had my breakfast all alone I watched some YouTube videos now I will go make some shopping I was at the wrong place okay my right. time is up and we are out for a walk and Emily is out for her day sleep and it is beautiful weather I have a lot of energy after my time alone and i will show you now how beautiful spring in germany is At the right time because suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes we were conversing into the night sky when you took my hands and let's see now Okay, we're now at home and I will show you what I bought in the city and Emily is today with us. Okay, Emily will help me. This is I. Yes. At Sephora, I bought Olaplex, Olaplex number three. And you know, I first tried Olaplex when I had long hair and it had effect directly now when i have short hair it doesn't have this effect as it was before but still i love it so if you have a little bit damaged hair if you have dry hair i have not found anything better than olaplex 
and I also needed new mascara and for the last half year I was always using the Dior mascara and I really loved it but now there is a new mascara from Yves Saint Laurent on the market and I wanted to try this one so I bought it it has actually a very beautiful packaging but I cannot say how it works yet so I have to try and I also needed a new bronzer and I had Benefit Hula Blonde, it's a classic, but I wanted to try something new. And this is Charlotte T. Blurry, or how do you pronounce it? Uh, this is this bronzer, it is actually very popular on YouTube. So yeah, I think I will try this one. I will show you the box. It looks very nice. It looks like a seashell, actually. And somebody wants to steal it from me. And this is the color. I think it also looks very perfect. It also has a mirror. So you can take it when you travel. And then I went to my favorite store. And this is Ritual store. And I love Rituals. If you are a fan of Body Shop or of Lush, try Rituals. It is 10 times better. And what I got at Rituals is my favorite body cream i love this sakura line because i love the smell of it but you can find any smell there so maybe this one is not for you but i always take everything from this sakura line and this is the body cream and i love their scrub it is also the sakura one uh it's the best scrub scrub in my opinion because it is mixed with oil so it is a little bit scrubby at first, but then it turns to oil, so it actually moisturizes your skin as well, and I love it. I think it's the best scrub on the market, in my opinion. Also from this secular line, I got this uh, fragrance sticks. I put them in my bathroom. My husband is also a fan of rituals, so I got for him, for the first time, a uh, shampoo for men. Uh, some shower foam. My husband loves the foam, but not the gel. That's all what I got in Rituals. And then I went to TK Maxx. In some countries it is called TJ Maxx. And what I love to buy at TK Maxx are big packages of shower gels. They have very nice shower gels, mostly American ones. And there are also many shampoos and conditioners also from USA. And I got this package there is a shampoo and conditioner there they are always very good and they have very nice price in this uh, store and of course i needed to buy something for my daughter for emily i mean summer is knocking on the door so um, a beautiful t-shirt is always a good idea and i think i think it looks very good and the quality is perfect it was at this gold label it was at this gold label corner, but I don't know this brand. The brand is called Simonetta. It's not a cheap one, so it cost 25 euros, but the quality is like uh, from a luxury store. No, it's nothing. You can never go to a store and uh, not buy something for your kid. That was everything that I bought today. Emily is playing with her new toy. That's actually a gorgeous toy. I showed on Instagram how it was packed. I will put this video also here so you can see. I think it's so nice and then the package is so stylish, you know, and so handmade. Yes! As I said in the beginning of this video, I wanted to talk about delegating. I mean, Nanny is also delegating, but when I got my daughter, the best decision that we made in the first month is to get some housekeeping help for a woman who helps me with cleaning she comes every week and the thing is i hate cleaning up so when you come to my apartment it is always very tidy because i had I, I hate it when for example some toys are lying on the floor or some things look not so good so i can keep it tidy from the outside but when it comes to real dirt i mean when it comes to cleaning up for example like uh, cleaning floors or washing dishes or washing i don't know stove or oven 
that's not my thing i hate it i know that some women like it for them it's like meditating but <laughs> i'm not one of them so when we got some help it was the best decision and i will never ever live without some housekeeping help again but there was only one thing which i didn't tell to uh, the woman which comes to help us is to clean the stove and everything inside it and i think she was not doing it because she was afraid uh, to do it by herself because i mean it's electric and so on and my stove didn't look so good so i will show you but i'm actually ashamed to show it but i think i mean it's real life i'm honest to you so i will show you how it looked and i thought that i would clean it myself my husband told me that you should tell her to do that but i meant okay maybe one time in a year it's also uh, good to do something by yourself so i did it and let me show you how maybe it will be helpful for some of you to see what i used and how i cleaned it up yeah but after i did it i was so tired and i didn't enjoy it at all although the result was quite good and my husband said to me, okay, why were you doing that? You should have better spent some time with me, but not cleaning up it. He's totally right.